Good morning. Today we're at Walmart. We're going to check out some of the prices that they have in there right now. A lot of the prices have been going up across the country. We're going to check out some of the things that you guys have asked about that you've been having trouble finding. Let's get to it. As soon as we come in here, we notice some of the produce that they have up front and center. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about kiwi, so I wanted to point this out. This is $8.98 for a case of kiwi here. I know it has gone up. One of the major things that we kind of want to check on today are a lot of the price increases. Uh, don't know if it's affected this Walmart yet. We are on the western side of Cincinnati. Uh, first thing I wanted to show for a five pound thing of Mandarin, $7.48. That seems really high. We do have three pound bags of them for $4.66, but as you can see here, there are not many. Now, it is Sunday, so I'm taking that into consideration, but I gotta say, they're pretty wiped out on produce. They have a few peppers. I know peppers have kind of been a concern. Uh, $1.38 a piece, that's pretty much what they are everywhere right now. A lot of you guys have been mentioning apples, that you've had trouble finding the apples that you like. Uh, one person in particular mentioned the Red Delicious apples. They do have a fat five pound bag of Red Delicious apples here for $6.97, which seems a little high. It's pretty low on just about everything in produce. They do have the organic Gala apples for $4.96 for a three pound bag. Um, you know, and everything's going up. There's nothing we can do about that. They do seem like they've got a bunch of grapes in. This was an issue a couple weeks ago. Got a bunch of the green grapes. I don't see a price here. There's prices all over the place. $1.93 a pound. And that seems like it's for the red and green. That's a little cheaper than we've seen it. Oh, wait a minute. This is, I don't know if they haven't taken tags down yet. $2 a pound for the red grapes here. Looks like $1.93 for the green. One sale they have going on is two pounds of strawberries for $5.64. Doesn't seem like too bad of a deal. And honestly, strawberries look pretty good here. These are some big, huge navel oranges here. Eight pound bag, $10.38. I'm sorry, but that is way too much. I do slide over here and check the bread situation because a lot of you guys have been talking about bread being gone in your stores. Well, you know, I kind of wanted to come to Walmart here because I wanted to get a good eye. This is where a lot of people shop around here. So I wanted to give it a good look. And it does look like a lot of bread is missing. Um, a lot of buns. I mean, they still have some, you know, it's not like they're completely wiped out. They might be by the end of the day, though. <laughs> a lot of you guys over the last week were wanting me to come to Walmart to check on the price increases because apparently across the country, it has hit Walmart. So we're going to keep our eye on a lot of the things going up. Very crowded in here today. Every aisle is packed. So I'm having to kind of interweave. The produce looked very low. I couldn't really get back in there to film a lot of it. Uh, they do have quite a bit of bagged lettuce, but again, there's been a lot of recalls on lettuce lately, uh, the bagged lettuce. So personally, I wouldn't buy it for a while. I would just get a head of lettuce and make it yourself. Some of you guys were talking about fries. I will say they have more here probably than they do the last time we were here. And they do, they are starting to get some of their uh, great value brands in. $1.68 for a bag of these. Uh, 24 ounce waffle cut fries. We love those. Those are pretty good. Their crinkle cut fries aren't too bad either. Two pounds for $1.68. When we get to the uh, products that aren't Walmart, it seems like they're very low. Like they're a lot lower on the pizza rolls than they were the last time. Hey, look, a couple yogurts that probably shouldn't be here. And the Hot Pockets. We have said uh, these have stayed the same price $10.98 for 12 of them. Some of you guys have asked about Hot Pockets. They do have the smaller packs, which only get five for six dollars. You guys will have to forgive me if I'm moving kind of fast. Like I said, this place is very crowded. Um, they do have uh, the corn dogs, that, uh, the great value corn dogs that some people have asked about. Three dollars and forty-seven cents. I feel like this has gone up. I think this was two ninety-nine. Uh, soft pretzels are still the same price at two seventy-six. Kind of hard to sugarcoat this, guys. Walmart's looking pretty. Uh, pretty empty in the freezer aisles today. Some of you guys have talked about healthy choice. 
uh, going away. We have seen less and less healthy choice at pretty much every store we've been to. Um, you know, it is what it is. We have seen more lean cuisines coming in. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. A lot of it's missing. Here we have the banquet meals, or lack thereof. We do have stacks of them over here. A lot of the same brand, though. This is one thing that we are noticing, is that they're getting a lot in. But it's always of, like, one thing. Like, this is all meatloaf. We usually always see at Walmart that's usually pretty packed. And they do have a lot of the bird's eye uh, vegetables and stuff like that. But the Walmart brands are pretty much completely wiped out. I mean, not many here at all. All the great value. They have some corn. Boy, I'll tell you, it's looking ugly, guys. I, I don't know. I, I come in here and I always try to, you know, put a bright side on things. But I don't know. They do have... California style vegetable mix it's it's all hit or miss it's like I, I can tell that this has probably just come in cauliflowers just come in this could be gone by the end of the day on the Stouffer's family meals I will say they do have a few here not many like I said we have uh, they have lasagna and the chicken alfredo now it is a little cheap it's about a dollar cheaper than it is at Kroger but you know what to be honest when you find it at whatever store you're at if it's something you want i recommend buying it because chances are you'll go to kroger and they'll be they'll be out we saw they only had a couple left over there thing i just noticed too they are kind of scattering things out because i found a couple more over here they, had, they do have the salisbury steak and the macaroni and cheese um macaroni and cheese i don't know if, I, I, we've had it not a big fan uh the lasagna is great never tried the salisbury steak but really, we would just probably get the lasagna. Maybe the chicken alfredo, if it was on sale. And if you have a really big family, you can get this entire pie of lasagna here. Uh, 1146. I'm not sure how much this is at Kroger. I don't know if we've seen them in a while. But they do have this baked ziti. Uh, 1146. That does look pretty good. A lot of you guys have asked about the Marie Calendar pot pies and some of the meals. Um, this is the most pot pies we've seen in a long time, and there's only about 12 to 13 of them. Seems like everywhere has been wiped out of Marie Calendars. Um, especially, you know, you're only going to find the chicken and, I don't know, sometimes the beef, but they've been pretty wiped out. One concern that a lot of people have had is the rice. Um, I will say they have these big, huge bags of rice. No prices on them. No prices on Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Tom and Jasmine, $20 for this 20-pound bag of rice. Honestly, if you want rice, I would check out Sam's Club or Costco. They seem to always have uh, rice for much better deals. Now, here's one you guys have talked about, the Ben's Original. A lot of you guys seem to like. They have the long grain also they have a five pound bag of the Ben's original for eight dollars and 16 cents so that may be the way to go but they have they do have some big huge bags of rice and all kinds of instant rice and they do have the rice and ronies for a dollar here on the regular we've seen this has gone up to a dollar 25 at kroger and a lot of the nor meals one of you guys in particular were asking about the chicken with the uh, fried rice they have that for a dollar, and these are the ones that we've been having trouble finding are the rice ones. So Walmart might be an option for that, and they're still only a dollar. This is a very crowded aisle right now, but I just wanted to point out that they do have a lot of the dry beans that people have asked about. Um, a lot of the great northern beans that people have had trouble finding for a dollar something. Again, they're kind of working around here, so I can't really get too close, but I just wanted to point it out. Do you notice that Velveeta did go up here? These were $2.99 forever. Now they're $3.43. They do have a value size for $5.94. Um, and a lot of these three packs are $7.47. So you save maybe a dollar. Um, and we see that Kraft has gone up to the same price. We've noticed this at Kroger too. Uh, the value packs are the same as Velveeta. Uh, $7.47 for the three pack. If you guys want to know where they're sending all the ramen noodles, it is Walmart. We haven't seen ramen noodles anywhere. We see a few here and there, but not like this. A lot of people have asked about the creamy chicken flavor. 
Um, no, they do not have it in the cups, like some of you have asked. But they do have, you know, and this is cheap. Um, they do have it here in the single packs. But, I mean, they do. They have a ton of ramen here at Walmart. So, if you're one of the ones who are looking for it, I would just recommend trying your Walmart, see if they have it. Not as big of an issue as we have seen in most places, but a lot of you guys have been saying that candy has kind of been going out the door. And um, no, it looks like they got a pretty good amount here. We see some gaps over here, and, you know, but Walmart seems to always have candy, no doubt. Here in the middle aisle here at Walmart, I gotta say, they have a ton of Goya beans, Goya rice, Goya juice, or <laughs> Goya like extra virgin olive oil everything by Goya here um, and I know a lot of you guys have even some of the dry Goya beans a lot of you guys have asked about the can saying you haven't been able to find them um, you know different prices here and everything but this looks like a sale that might be going on something that they might have an overfill of so if you're looking for them check out Walmart one thing is for sure this is the most peanut butter that we have seen in months um, they have a ton they got these big jars here too no price on that. I have to check one of them little price checkers. Uh, they do have the same thing that they have at Sam's Club. Uh, this is the two 40 ounce things. This is what we got at Sam's Club. Uh, about 50 cents cheaper, but I mean, you know, it's practically the same thing. And it may have gone up at Sam's Club. We're, we're gonna have to go back and check out some of their prices and see what's going on. But yeah, for the most part, they got all kinds of jams and peanut butter here. And as far as vegetables go, I gotta say, this is the most canned vegetables we've seen at Walmart in a while. Now, one of you guys, actually a few of you guys have always told me to check behind to see if, you know, they're stacked up. They could have more in the back, too. We really don't know. But Del Monte, our favorite, as you guys know, has gone back up to $1.18, which is still cheaper than it is at Kroger right now. It's 4 four for $5, so that makes it $1.25, about the same, you know. Not enough to make me want to have to go to another store. Uh, some of you guys mentioned the tuna creations that you like. Um, we did see these at Big Lots, surprisingly, the other day for a dollar. They do have the great value versions for 88 cents a pack. Uh, not a bad deal. These tuna creations, I, I never really do them. We just get tuna and make like tuna salad. I will say that they are a lot lower on tuna than they were the last time we were here, but at least they're still getting it in. I don't know if they just don't have anything to put in here, but it's completely empty. Let's see what this is. So we got chicken thighs. Uh, $5.64. That don't sound like too bad of a deal. Let's see how much it weighs. 64 ounces, 4 pounds. Yeah, why Why would... I don't know. I don't know. Prices are always kind of weird at Walmart. 4-pound um, bag for $5.64 really isn't that bad of a deal. So some of you guys have asked about the tilapia. The great value tilapia that they have at Walmart that you haven't been able to find it. They do have it here... A four pound bag for $20 doesn't really seem like too bad of a deal, all considering. And they do have a lot of the great value, uh, like the, the whiting fish fillets, cod skinless fillets, $15. Um, they do have a lot of these in, a lot of different uh, little fancy seafood options. So meat has taken a hit, not only just gone up in price, now we've been trying to find some sales. I don't really notice any price increases here. I don't know how they could increase the price, but we can see that a lot of it's gone. Um, $24.18 for two pounds of ribeyes. I don't know, I guess I'll consider and that's not terrible. You know, it's really gone up in price. That makes it about $12 a ribeye pound a piece. So a few of you have mentioned Pop-Tarts going up. So I just wanted to point it out said that it was $3.49 and that it went up to $4.14. It is $4.14 in our Walmart too. $0.75, cents, that's quite a lot on the value packs. The value packs. I don't, the smaller ones are still $2.18 a box. It does seem like they have more cereal in than they had the last time. And their regular size boxes, well at least of the Kellogg's, this is like, yeah, 15.9 ounce box, $2.98. We see that this has gone up to $3.49 at Kroger, so they may just not have raised their prices yet. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. Okay, so this was $4.99. We just bought a box of this last week of the Mega Size Honey Nut Cheerios for $5. It's gone up to $5.48. 
Oh my goodness, wait a minute. Am I seeing this right? So a regular box of Honey Nut Cheerios is $3.98 now for the 15, okay, so no, this is a 10.8 ounces for $4. This has definitely gone up. Um, and yes, we are seeing some increases here. I gotta say, they really are out of a lot of cereal, though. They are kind of spreading it out all over the place here. Like, we saw Captain Crunch further down there. We're seeing the same cereals. We saw Fruity Pebbles down on the other end. $4 for a family size. It is a family size. Mega size. Okay, still still $5 for the mega size of Fruity Pebbles. A lot of you guys have been asking about cereal lately, so I wanted to spend an extra minute or two in here. Now, we did see that Kroger's has a digital coupon deal on some of the Kellogg cereals. One of them is Frosted Flakes. It is $2.98 for a 13 and a half ounce box. But if you go to Kroger, it's $1.47 if you use that digital coupon. And thank you for who left that down in the comments. An issue that we have been dealing with is oatmeal. Now, we have seen a lot of Quaker Oats, but a lot of the brands in stores for some reason. So what I'm thinking, okay, so we saw that Kroger's was pretty low and some other places are pretty low. I'm thinking that, that maybe Walmart and some of these other places are having trouble getting the ingredients to make it right because we're seeing the the company quaker that has no problem obviously because that's all they do and they're probably making their own ingredients a lot of you guys have asked about the kind uh bars and i gotta say six bars for seven dollars and 53 cents seems a little much um but you know as we know walmart doesn't do too much on like sales or deals you almost just have to have like a manufacturer coupon to get a deal here and you know prices you know, I, I remember the days when Walmart was always the place to go because it was super cheap. Well, now it's like they're the same as the other stores or more. So you do got to be careful, you know, if you're planning on doing a huge shopping trip to kind of, you know, check out the coupons and the deals going on. I wanted to show here they do have a lot of the Nature Valley bars. Uh, as we see, they have gone up on some of them. This was $2.99. Um, and some random prices in here, like I, $2.98, I don't know, I'm not going to spend all day reading the fine prints, but <laughs> you do really have to look closely at some of the tags, because some of the tags are wrong, I've checked a couple of them, I'm not going to show all of them, I'm just trying to focus on the ones where we see where the prices have gone up, always check the tags, clip your coupons, get all the digital deals you can, that's going to be the way we save money. Okay, so I am starting to notice that Walmart is going up in a lot of the stuff that we have been checking at other stores. V8 has always been $2.99 around here. It is $3.58. And this has gone up. We saw it went up at Kroger too, but at least they got it. We saw that it's been, it was gone for a long time. A few have been asking about crackers, particularly saltine crackers. Now our favorite here are the premium some of you guys have asked about the zesta crackers uh they do have the great value which is 98 cents a box uh no price on the zesta and honestly those are the wheat ones so i don't know if that's the kind you would like they don't doesn't look like they have the regular and no price on the premium either those are usually around two dollars but I don't know, it seems like everything's kind of mixed up in this store lately. I don't know if they're kind of condensing things, spreading things out, trying to make it look nicer. Uh, one other concern has been Ritz crackers. Now, the only Ritz crackers I see are down here, $3.28 a box. $3.28, so that's gone up from $2.99, and usually you can find sales at Kroger for $1.99 when it's on their buy five, save five or more deal. But this is pretty low. Thing I wanted to show is we've been seeing that these Lunchables are about $2.25. A lot of you guys comment on the Lunchables, so I always like to point them out when I see them. Uh, it looks like Walmart's got quite a bit, and they are on sale for $1.74 a piece. Sale or regular price, we really don't know at Walmart, but might be the regular price. Still cheaper than $2.25. Oh, I remember the days when they were a buck. Some of you guys have been talking about bacon. Bacon, our favorite, taking another hit across the country. Um, they do have the right bacon, uh, $19.28 for three pounds. A lot of you guys have commented on this uh, pretty good bacon. Um, now, obviously, Oscar Mayer, $9. Uh, we've seen it, we see it for 10 at Kroger. So, I mean, at least you save a dollar if that's your favorite. 
They have our black label bacon here that we love. A uh, little more expensive. We've seen that it's been $5.99 at Kroger for a while. But if this is going to be the regular price here at Walmart, this is a good deal for me. Because when this goes back up in price, it's going to be $7.99. Some of you guys were asking about the Kraft Singles. Uh, $3.97 for 24 slices is about normal. That's about what it would be at Kroger. Well, I hate to say this, but it looks like Walmart is out of all of their cheese. Two eighteen dollars a bag. They are completely out of all their sliced cheese. They have some of the shredded, but I gotta say, this isn't as bad as the one time when we came here and it was all out, because it was all out. Every, all the cheese was gone. But it is kind of shocking that they don't have any of their cheese shredded, or their sliced cheese in here. I guess they found out that Philadelphia cream cheese was coming back in, so everybody ran out and bought it all up again. Honestly, I don't blame you. Uh, it's something that has been very hard for a lot of stores to get in. We did see a bunch at Kroger the other day, but that could be gone. So, you know, we never really know. All the all the block cream cheese is gone, even the Great Value brand. Walmart might be having some problems with their dairy. We'll have to check the eggs and the milk, which I assume they'll have plenty of that in. I will say it looks like they have plenty of eggs. And 98 cents for 12 large eggs is a pretty good deal. Uh, one thing I did want to point out... Attention customers due to a limited supply and higher than usual demand. Our suppliers have increased the price of eggs. We have worked very hard on behalf of the customers to maintain our current pricing as long as possible. While the current circumstances mean customers may see higher priced eggs, we are committed to offering customers the best price possible. I'd say 98 cents is a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, 288 for uh, the extra large. You get 24 for two dollars. So why would I? Why would I do this? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I was wrong here. 288 for 36 eggs. Uh, you get two of them. They're wrapped together here. That's not a bad deal at all. Or you can just buy two of these, 24 eggs for $2. I don't even know what juices were supposed to go here, but a lot of the refrigerated juices are pretty empty. Um, they do have one, one minute made. <laughs> uh, what is that? Mango passion? I don't know. Maybe that's a popular one. They do have a lot more simply made, or simply orange juice and stuff like that that we haven't seen. And they are out of some too. I thought this was it too, but this is Tropicana. I know uh, people have been saying all across the country that orange juice has been a problem. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know hasn't been as big of a problem here but we have seen it low for sure so i guess i'm gonna have to work a little harder and start making my own biscuits my own dough for uh chicken and dumplings because they're making it to where i can't cheat anymore <laughs> uh pillsbury's been completely out all over the place all the pillsbury grands any any brain except for the crescent rolls if we can find the crescent rolls um, but yeah, none of the other ones like cinnamon rolls, but no, no biscuits anywhere. None. So here we go. Stacking it up with angel soft. Now I can tell you, we shop at this Walmart pretty frequently. I've never seen so much angel soft. So this must be the one that they're getting in. We've seen that this particular Walmart hasn't had too much trouble with toilet paper, but as we see here, it's starting to go away again. And you know, I, I don't know. It, Ain't much we can really do about it. Just make sure you buy enough to make it last for a while. I do have some quilted northern and cottonelle. And, and again, there's plenty of toilet paper. It just This place is usually stacked to the ceiling with toilet paper. So to see it this low is telling me that people are buying a lot of it up. And, you know, I don't blame you if you get a good deal on it, too. So I thought we would come over and check the cat food. Uh, a lot of the cheaper options are gone, but I do got to say they have a lot of friskies. 62 cents a can too and they have the big boxes that you guys have asked about and yeah i mean they actually have a decent amount here and here's some of the some of you guys were asking about the pate uh that you haven't been able to find any of the pate um yeah this is definitely a lot more than we saw the last time they are oh wait a minute nope they do have fancy feast and actually not a bad amount either um, yeah, I mean, a lot of it's gone, but, I mean, yeah, they even got the 12-pack cans, uh, the 30-pack cans, $21. A 
lot of the Sheba ones you guys have mentioned that a lot of the Sheba packs that your cat likes also, I think it was the pate that you mentioned. They do have it here at Walmart, a couple different versions, brands. They also have the Fancy Feast uh, version of that. Hey guys, that was our trip to Walmart today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope, you know, that rising prices are all over. Um, you guys wanted me to check to see if prices have increased at Walmart. They sure have. There are still some deals here. So if your Walmart is like that, I would, I would go and just kind of search around and check, see what you need. And... You know, just maybe you can try and save a couple bucks through coupons or stuff like that. Because I know that's important to us. We want to save money, but most importantly, we want to be able to get the products that we need. So, with all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure. It's out there.